Well, the leaderboard at Colonial is, in a word, crowded. Right there in the mix, world number one and Masters champ Scotty Scheffler. He ended his day with back-to-back -back birdies to finish with a 64, joining seven others tied for the lead at four under. Scheffler says the course is playing harder than in years past. And I quote, I felt like I did a really good job of managing myself around the golf course. And that he did. Bogey free round, one under at the turn, then really went low in the final five holes with three more birdies. And that was the and that was with the wind kicking up in the afternoon to more than 20 miles per hour at times. Scheffler gets his second round underway later this afternoon, teeing off just before 2 p.m. So let's bring in our CBS Sports golf analyst, Doug Bell, to tee us up for the day. Doug Scotty, looking good, playing at home there in Texas. He missed the cut at Southern Hills last week, so I've got to imagine you're encouraged by the way his game is swinging back into form right now. Oh, no question. Uh, and you said it right. He's looking good. What do you do after you miss the cut at the PGA Championship at Southern Hills when you say it's your favorite golf course? And the week before the event, he shot 64 in the practice round, still missed the cut. Well, you go home to Dallas and you get a buzz cut. You probably didn't notice underneath his golf hat, very short hair for world number one, Scotty Scheffler. Went out yesterday, refreshed, uh, played with Justin Thomas, the PGA champion, and Jason Kokrak, the defending champion. And Scheffler put on a show, bogey free, played very well, very consistent, putted extremely well. Yeah, the short hair underneath, it's a new look for Scotty Scheffler. He's off to a fantastic start. And I expect him to have a very Good week. That was an anomaly last week, missing the cut at the PGA Championship. So basically the headline here for him is look good, feel good, <laughs> play good. Very good, yes. <laughs> well, among the eight tied at four under is Webb Simpson. Webb Simpson, who grinded a bit on that front nine yesterday. He hasn't won on tour in the last two years. Did his game show you enough to suggest, you know what, he might actually be in contention all weekend? Well, it's a good start. Certainly, he's 125th in FedEx Cup points. And for a player of the stature of Webb Simpson, uh, that is not good. He's down there with the rookies, the guys who were just out on tour from the Corn Ferry. Uh, he has been injured, hasn't played a lot. This is only his third start since the Masters, stayed at home. And he said the back injury wasn't severe enough to have surgery, but it was a situation where he couldn't practice. He could go out and play with friends but he couldn't practice and that's set him back. So right now, Webb Simpson trying to get his game back in gear with some big tournaments coming up. I thought it was a good day for him. He's always gonna have bogeys on his card. Webb is one of those kind of guys, never perfect, but I thought that was a good start. But again, we need to see consistency from Webb Simpson. He must follow up today with another good round to keep it going into the weekend. Seems like a lot of guys birding 17 yesterday. Now, Simpson yes. will be partnered with Patrick Reed, a.k.a. Captain America. He hasn't had a top 25 finish himself since January, missing the cut four times since then. What impressed you about what he did yesterday? Well, he, he was bogey-free into the last hole, and he dropped a shot at the par four ninth. But again, what Patrick Reed is looking for is consistency. It's been a bad year for Captain America. Uh, when you look at his statistics, 199th off the tee on the PGA Tour in strokes gain. 199th, uh, iron play 186th. So when you're not hitting it good off the tee, you're not hitting your irons good, uh, that is not a formula for success among the best players in the world. This was on the horrible horseshoe, by the way, number four out of the bunker, very difficult par three. So that was a spectacular birdie for Patrick Reed. He says he just needs to play and find his form. He's a guy, they say, dig it out of the dirt. That's what Patrick Reed will do. Uh, he's going to keep it going now this week. I think he'll have a good week. We'll see. He's won seven years in a row on the PGA Tour. Work to be done to continue that streak for Patrick Reed. All right, Doug, let's play this movie to the end, shall we? What will we be talking <laughs> about Sunday evening when this is all wrapped up at Colonial? Well, I think we're going to talk about uh, a guy who's winning for the first time on the PGA Tour. Uh, we've seen it happen eight times already this season on tour, but I think it'll happen again at Colonial. A lot of big names. We talked about Scotty Scheffler and some of these other guys. But I think in the end, I mean, you got Bo Hostler, Davis Riley. They're looking for their first win. But Harold Varner the third, 31 years old, been knocking on the door now for several years, was the 54-hole leader going into the final round at the RBC Heritage, ended up tying for third, lost, uh, didn't make the playoff, uh, just missed it out by one shot. I think Harold, who had a nice start yesterday with a four-under round, I, I think sooner or later he's going to win, and I think it probably is going to happen this week. But I do think a first-time winner will wear that, uh, that wild-looking jacket at Colonial.
Yeah, again, something like 15 guys within a stroke there under yeah. the lead at either minus four or minus three. All right, Doug Bell, thank you so much. Reminder, the final two rounds of the Charles Schwab Challenge can be seen on CBS and Paramount Plus. Saturday coverage starting at 5.30. Sunday's final round action will pick up at 2 p.m. Eastern. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.